I am Dr. Brant Larson. Welcome to the video. We're talking about headaches. Specifically, the different areas on the head or the, or the different spots and more specifically, what do they mean? So if you get pain on this side of the head or you get pain back here, you get pain on the top of the head, what the heck does that mean? Because those are clues as to different areas of the body, different organs that may not be working how they should. So number one, pain on the top of the head. This one has to do with your reproductive system, okay? And doctors have known this for decades and decades and decades. This goes back to the old diagnostics. Before we had MRIs and x-ray and all this kinds of stuff, doctors made, they, 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 they saw clues. They saw different things and there was patterns, okay? We, we learned this. So pain on the top of the head, think uterus or prostate. Now obviously if you're a woman, it's gonna be uterus. If you're a male, it's gonna be a prostate. And I hope you know how many men have prostate issues, especially as they get older. They're waking up in the middle of the night constantly to go to the bathroom. Not normal. That's the prostate swelling. I think it's like one out of two males who live long enough will get prostate cancer. Again, that's normal, but, or it's common, but it's not normal. That shouldn't be happening. Okay, so the prostates are really getting hit. They're getting hit by chemicals, infections, just different things are degrading how healthy and how strong that prostate is. Same with the uterus. So the uterus in women. Uh, fibroids, okay? Uh, hysterectomies that occur as, as this whole process goes along. Again, common, but not normal. These organs should serve you throughout life, serve you differently throughout life, but they should serve you. You shouldn't be getting them taken out or need to get them taken out. So uterus, um, early stages, it could be just pain on the top of the head. That's, that's a signal that your uterus is not working how it's supposed to. It's giving you clues saying, I'm, I'm struggling here. I'm getting filled up with poison. My, it's, I'm, I'm making fibroids down here to kind of wall things off. Something's happening. Number two, pain worse in the morning. So you get up and you say, gosh, I got a pounding headache. It goes away towards the end of the day. Now another form of this headache is called a hangover, obviously. You wake up worse, it gets better. But if it's not that, it's pain worse in the morning. Think liver. So your liver is struggling and your thyroid is struggling. So as that metabolism drops down during the night and you don't have things moving as much, you're going to have more pain in the morning. But as you get moving, as your metabolism cranks up, the thyroid kicks in, uh, has to work a little bit harder, and the, and the adrenals, and everything starts to work more, the pain starts to go away. So pain worse in the morning, think liver, thyroid dysfunction. Uh, pain and pressure behind the eyes, pituitary gland swelling, the master gland in your endocrine system. It sits right between the eyes, right back here in a little saddle. It's a Turkish saddle called the sella tersica. A little bony area right through here and right behind the eyes. It sits there. Okay, It's encased by bone. If that starts to swell, viruses can get in there, cause irritation. Your cranial system can get distorted from a head trauma, banging your head on a, on a cabinet, car accident, football, um, you know, concussion type injury, being in a dental chair for a long time, having your mouth open and jamming the skull bones can distort how that pituitary gland is being squeezed and compressed. Again, like I said, viral infections. But pain and pressure behind the eyes, think pituitary gland. Actually, my son was having this as well. And one form of this is mag manganese deficiency. So not magnesium, but manganese. Your pituitary gland loves manganese. It's very, very important to have manganese. So he was starting to get some pain right behind his eyes. And I realized he was growing and he wasn't getting, getting enough manganese. Got him manganese and it went away. Um, pain on one side of the head. Think gallbladder. So it's always on the left side, it's always on the right side. Think more of a gallbladder type issue there. Obviously, you're going to start to have pain down here um, over time or stones building up, but your gallbladder is struggling. You could register a signal for that up in the head being pain on the one side. Now, if it switches from side to side, it could be gallbladder, pancreas, or some type of food allergy or something. Okay, so gallbladder and pancreas tend to lead towards food allergies because now you can't digest your food how it's supposed to. But if the pain switches, maybe it's day to day, maybe it's in the morning that's on the left and the evening that's on the right, that could be part of it. But pain switching from side to side. 
uh, pain at the back of the head, think toxic headache. So another one I didn't put in here was pain at the back of the head could also be a cervicogenic headache. So your cervicals are your neck. So if you're having, um, let's see if I can do this here, if you're having pain right back on this line here, okay, it could be that you're always down texting like this and you're just pulling on the neck. Okay, so that's a more mechanical issue. But if the pain is not coming from that, it's going to be pain at the back of the head and that would be a toxic headache. So you're, you're exposed to toxins, your liver's not working how it's supposed to. Uh, pain at the back of the head. Pain covering the entire head. So you just have pain all over the place. Severe toxicity. This is where you're, I mean, stuff is not going right. You're backing up. You've got arsenic, you've got mercury, lead, you've got all kinds of other parasites going on. Your body's being poisoned. You're constipated, so you're not eliminating anything. You're getting some severe toxicity, um, bowel issues, pain covering the entire head. Okay? Uh, number eight, constant headaches. So they don't really ever go away. It could be real severe. It could be kind of a low-grade constant one. Again, think toxicity, think poisoning. It's something that's, that keeps occurring over time. So liver could be involved with this. The, the bowels, so small and large intestine. Maybe you're constipated all the time, not eliminating things. Gallbladder as well. Uh, constant headaches are, again, toxicity, poisoning. Uh, if you like this video, learn more here. DrLarson.com is my website. If you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon.